We'll guide you through how to download, install and use OBS. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. OBS is a great free way of recording your screen. So we'll guide you through getting it and how you can use it as well. To get started, go and open up a web browser and you want to go and type in OBS. So you can just type it in like so. Come to the site obsproject.com. Now you can go and choose which you want to go and get. In this case, I'm using Windows, so we can click there. Now go and wait for it to download. And we can go and find the download in your file explorer. So I'll go to my downloads folder here and here it is. So what you need to do is go and double click it and we can go and start the process. You'll get a Windows security pop-up you need to agree to. What you'll need to do is go and press next. Make sure you go and agree to the agreement and you can choose the destination of where it's installed as well. And here it is. Now I have got some scenes here on the left as I've gone and used OBS before, but you're just gonna have one. So slightly, you're just gonna go and have a blank scene which will go and look something like this. But before we get any further, come over to the right and click settings. Now come over to the left and come into output and to go and use OBS to record, that's what I'll cover in this video. Of course, you can stream with it as well. Then you want to set the output mode to simple, come to recording, choose the path, that's where your videos will be saved. For recording quality, high quality, medium file size is great. Format, MP4 is the easiest. For the video encoder, if you've got an NVIDIA card, you can go and use the hardware there. Otherwise you can use X264. Now you want to go and press apply and come over to the left and select audio. In here for the desktop audio, I just use default and you can then go and choose your mic, press apply, then come over to the left into video. For the base canvas resolution, I have that set as high as possible. Same for the output scaled resolution. And I like to have 60 FPS as it keeps things smooth. Then when you're ready, you can press apply in the bottom right and press OK. Now we can go and add a source. So come into the sources, press the plus and you can tap on display capture like so. This will do your entire display. You have got other options like game capture or window capture. I like display though. Press OK and we can choose the monitor and then press OK. And there it is. And then to start recording, you literally press start recording. That's it. 